Okay, so we're back. Here I am. I just wanted to present to you that I printed this traditional drawing that I have on my sketchbook, had it scanned, and emailed it to a printer shop, the only printer shop in our neighborhood, and had it printed out using uh, three of my unique uh, papers, like one smooth paper, mixed media, watercolor paper. Well, anyway, here I am. I did plan to actually color the uh, printed uh, drawing, but uh, I, I, I think along the way, I just decided to change my mind. Here I am just showing off the Honolulu, uh, oh no, sorry, the Ohuhu uh, booklet right there, presented inside the 96 set, and yeah, look at the size difference. Go. Yeah. Look at the size difference. The size difference. Anyway, here I am. I'm just showing you how each of the paper feels like. Um, I think this is the smooth paper. Yeah, yeah. This is the smooth paper. Yeah. Look at me drawing a prawn. See if that'll make a difference. Anyway, yeah. This is the Mohawk Super Smooth paper. And because I am a dumbass, I, uh, I'm glad that I had the uh, foresight to write down what I wanted to share about this paper. So yeah, pretty smooth. It can it does have a bit of a spread to it when using the alcohol markers. Um, next up is the Fabriano mix paper. Yeah, there you go. It's I'm glad I'm smart enough to uh, write that down so I can tell the difference when I'm filming this. Anyway, as for this one, we, did you notice that it's called dark violet light? Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna make a note of that. Who has a very ridiculous naming system, but anyway, as for this paper, it does feel uh, a bit rough, quite textured. This is the most tex textured one. I mean, it's a mixed media paper, what can I say? Anyway, the next one is the Corona watercolor paper, and I think this one, although it's not as textured, this feels like it has like a faster dry down, like it's, it's just absorbing the alcohol. I mean, it is a watercolor paper. Hmm. So I guess if it's uh, water, it'll manage to absorb the water a little bit more. But when it comes to the alcohol markers, it's probably going to um, absorb the alcohol liquid a little faster. Much faster. Like, look at that. It's almost straightforward. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at me. Just taking notes on the paper like I could even read it from where I'm standing right now yeah I'm in the ground yeah it's not a bad paper all of these papers are not you know bad if you're looking for a specific way on how the colors are going to appear then you know in, you can have uh, enough foresight on how or you know expect how it's going to color and spread or dry immediately before because it might not be able to blend the color as well so i decided to forego coloring the printed um drawing and wanted to test out the uh alcohol alcohol markers on the provided a little uh, samples like these images and as you can see uh i didn't see it before i, I didn't notice it immediately like i was like okay oh thank you oh, hoo, hoo, for providing us all these little illustrations so we can color them out <sighs> yeah um you know what i don't think even oh hoo, hoo was the one responsible for giving these uh, little uh, illustration samples anyway it's an ai image yeah uh it took me a while it you'll see you'll see i'll i'll be able to notice it much much later but anyway, uh, yeah, here I am, having fun, you know. I was I was innocent uh, a few minutes ago before realizing this was an AI printed image. But you know what? I like the irony of it. You know, like it's it's an AI image. It's for public use. Like you know, uh, it's not. Oh, I I did say it was. Ooh, but you know what? It's probably the reseller where I bought the 96 set from. They're a legitimate craft store online. Uh, I think it was Be Happy Craft Store. That's the name. But anyway, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm just coloring 
this AI image um, gleefully with pinks. What do you think of my coloring skills, guys? Anyway, <laughs> um, as you can see, I am having fun with it, but also, you know, realizing. I I think I've now realized a little later that this is an AI image, and um, but still, the way that the alcohol markers just spread nicely on this. Um, thick paper. I don't know what kind of paper this was, but anyway, I didn't proceed in completing coloring this. Yeah, there you go. It's an AI image, guys. So yeah. Overall, I was still happy with what I've done so far, even though it wasn't a very productive uh, little filming session. Like, look at me, just spreading this around, telling you what I've done. So thanks. 